Use a vegan, but you go in ham. Yeah. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Pretty Brown Vegan, a place for plant-based comfort foods. In today's video, I will be showing you my vegan cheeseburger pasta recipe. Um, if you guys are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future additions. Let's go ahead and get started with today's ingredients. I will be using two full cans of unsweetened coconut milk, three cans of Rotel, two hot and one mild, I will use a box and a half of penne pasta. You can use whatever brand you like. And I use two bags of the Gardein Ultimate Beefless Ground, as well as two bags of Diet Cheddar Style Shreds. And then to season the meat, you can use whatever type of flavoring you like. These are the seasonings that I'm going with today. So go ahead and get started with a hot skillet and then go ahead and add in some oil. I am using avocado oil. And then just go ahead and toss in both bags of your beefless ground. Just make sure you heat it through really well. Get it all tossed up in the oil before adding in any seasoning. You can see that I constantly keep the meat tossing, making sure nothing's sticking to the bottom and everything's cooked thoroughly. And then I go ahead and add in those four seasonings that I showed you that I will be using today. But again, you can season the meat however you like. So just go ahead and get your seasonings in there. And then once everything's well cooked through and seasoned, just go ahead and set your meat to the side. So now that we got the meat cooked up, let's go ahead with the cheese sauce. Toss in all three of your cans of Rotel. And then just make sure that the Rotel starts heating up pretty nicely before adding in your coconut milk. Just go ahead and toss in both full cans of coconut milk and heat everything really thoroughly before you add in the cheese. And just make sure you're constantly stirring on that coconut milk. Make sure it breaks down and melts in nicely with the Rotel. Once that's nice and heated up and there's steam coming off of it, go ahead and toss in both full bags of your diet cheese shreds and then just constantly keep stirring that and letting it heat up until it becomes nice and thick. It takes a little while for the cheese to melt down, but just make sure you're constantly stirring so that every shred does melt down and it gets nice and um, thick like a nice thick cheese sauce. Okay, so once that started to thicken up really nicely, just go ahead and toss in that meat that you did cook up. and stirred in i do save a little bit of this on the side every time that i make this dish to steal and dip some tortilla chips in and things like that so just go ahead and get it nice and thick it's like a nice cheese sauce there and then you just go ahead and toss it on top of some cooked penne pasta
Okay, and I'm using a casserole dish to go ahead and toss this in. You can stop here if you like, um, you know, the cheese sauce to be a little bit juicy and runny a bit. You know, it's good as is and everything is ready to serve now. But I like to go ahead and toss this in the oven just to get it to thicken up. More like a baked mac and cheese sort of consistency. And it gets nice and thick and just so good. So I go ahead and cover this up with some foil and toss it into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or so on 350 degrees make sure your oven is preheated and i don't bake it too long if you over bake it it does dry out so i just put it in the oven for about 15 minutes or so at that 350 with the foil on top and it comes out super super delicious um, you can see here that it's just all the flavors have culminated and come together. Just put a little parsley on top for a little bit of accent and you can serve it this way. It's delicious. If you guys enjoy this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.